Okay, so I'm going to talk about Mad Max, which stars Mel Gibson, and I watched it for the first time in a long time last night, and here are my thoughts on it. Uh, you want to talk a movie that has non-stop action in it almost, look no further than this. Um, by definition, this isn't the best action-packed movie that Mel Gibson has made because he still made uh, Lethal Weapon, Braveheart, and uh, The Road Warrior, which is the best out of the series to me, but I want to go ahead and talk about this one because it was my first time seeing it all the way through. Uh, the movie has a pretty straightforward plot. Um, a lot of these cops are chasing down this punk in a, in a car with a girlfriend who calls himself the Knight Rider, and he's managed to outrun cops several times and Mad Max chases him and eventually pushes him to the breaking point play a little game of chicken with him and the dude winds up killed in an explosion well a bunch of the dude's gang that he's with are extremely upset by his death and set out on a mission of revenge they're led by this cat named Toe Cutter who's just uh, a complete psycho in a ways uh, basically his performance reminded me of Kiefer Sutherland from the Lost Boys. Uh, you know, he's he's a pretty good bad guy. And we also had uh, one of his flunkies named Johnny the Boy. Who's, uh, quite honestly, he's too afraid to really do anything evil. But he will do it just to save his own ass. And it makes for a pretty interesting dynamic. Uh, the guys are out for revenge, of course. And over the course of the movie, uh, Max's family, his wife and his baby son as well as his best friend called the goose who was a buddy cop are killed by these guys and just the the amount of emotional turmoil is really brought out from this movie thanks to the music and the strong performances in here now this was really i wouldn't say it was a low budget movie back in its time but it, it would look like something probably at first glance that wouldn't get a lot of attention but the the action scenes and the the way that they build up to something happening were just excellent. Um, and you can kind of see here what all the sights that Max takes in that kind of make him dis disillusioned from being a cop and wanting to strike out on his own. Um, I do have a couple of complaints about this movie. Uh, number one, never in any instant have I been a fan of children being put into harm's way or having something happen to them. Now, thankfully, this took place off screen, and uh, there was actually a scene where Max, or uh, the cops were chasing uh, Knight Rider at the start of the movie, and there was this baby who had uh, managed to walk out in the middle of the streets, and it looks like the baby was about to be hit, but they, <clears throat> excuse me, they pull a uh, th there's a word that I can't really think of right now, but it's something that you wouldn't expect and kind of plays dark, darkly humorous on a situation in which the two cars pass and the baby is standing right in between them and there's barely a foot to spare in between them and he walks away all right. Uh, and that really had me on the edge of my seat there, partly being this is the first time I've seen the movie in a long time and I didn't really, I don't think I ever really saw that part as a kid. Uh, the second issue with it is that just before somebody was killed in a head-on collision or an explosion, they had like the scene, you, you saw it for maybe barely a second, where uh, the person who was about to be hit, his eyes would like bulge out of his head, and I, I didn't really get that part, but it definitely added for a good, uh, a good story element in here. Um... Anything else I could say about this movie because there's not really much I can offer except that if you haven't seen this movie, definitely go and check it out. Uh, it's not really up in the caliber of a movie like the first two Terminators where everybody had to have seen it and known about it, but it's still a great movie. Uh, now, I'm going to watch The Road Warrior tonight and try and check out uh, Beyond Thunderdome Monday and have reviews posted up for them as well, but... Uh, you know, this is definitely a good movie, and if you were looking into something to get into, like if you're tired of all the, the remakes and the, the shitty plot stories for most movies that are out right now,
and want to take something old school, I definitely recommend picking up this movie.